Tiger Ted uses a series of pulleys to lift a 500 Newton weight. With a force of 50 Newtons, he pulls down on five meters of rope. How much work did he do? Work is force times distance. So we have 50 Newtons times five meters equals 250 Newton meters, which is 250 joules of work. If all this energy went into lifting the block, how high would the block be raised? Well, 250 joules equals 500 newtons times x meters. Solve for x, and you have 0.5 meters. The block should be raised by 0.5 meters. But there's significant friction as the rope glides through the pulley system. This results in the production of a bit of heat. The energy for this heat comes from Tiger Ted, which means not all of his 250 joules goes to raising the block. Let's say 50 joules of Ted's input energy is lost as heat. This means that only 200 joules of energy is available to raise the block. So, in reality... How high is the block lifted? 200 joules equals 500 newtons times x meters. Solve for x, and you have 0.4 meters. What's the efficiency? We define percent efficiency as the useful energy output divided by total energy input times 100. So 200 divided by 250 times 100 equals 80%. That means 80% of Ted's energy is going to lift the block. Tiger Ted, he's a little disappointed. Maybe next time, a little oil to the wheels will help to minimize the friction and thus the heat loss. But in any machine, especially those with moving parts, some heat loss is inevitable. That's why no machine is 100% efficient. The trick is to minimize the heat loss as much as possible to make your machine as efficient as possible. Good energy. 